calls for transparency and reform as activists in Louisville, Kentucky take to the streets demanding justice for Breonna Taylor. Louisville Metro Police fatally shot the 26-year-old EMT in her home nearly three months ago. But a new incident report released by the department isn't helping to shed any light on what happened the night police opened fire. That's because the report is almost entirely blank. Officers encountered rifle fire. Officer down. The four-page report lists basic information like the incident date, location, and Taylor's name, race, and age. But the report redacts information that's already been widely reported in the media, including Taylor's street number and date of birth. EMS is around the corner right now. We need EMS up here now. Taylor died in a hail of bullets as officers working on a narcotics investigation executed a no-knock warrant to search her apartment. Taylor and her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, were awakened by pounding at the door. Walker called 911 and grabbed his gun, thinking intruders were breaking in. He fired through the door, shooting one of the police officers in the leg. 911 operator, where is their emergency? I don't, I don't know what's happening. Somebody kicked in the door and shot my girlfriend. The incident report lists Taylor's injuries as none. Under charges, it says death investigation, LMPD involved, but checks the no box under forced entry, even though officers reportedly used a battering ram to gain access to Taylor's apartment. The three officers involved in the shooting, Brett Hankinson, Miles Cosgrove, and Jonathan Mattingly, are listed as offenders on the incident report. But the narrative of what happened on March 13th, 2020, is blank. This video obtained by Court TV captures an emotional Kenneth Walker just moments after his girlfriend was shot dead by police. Walker was arrested and charged with first-degree assault and attempted murder of a police officer. Those charges have since been dismissed. Status of the officer. He's down. We got a tourniquet on him. Where is he shot at? On the leg, right? One leg. We got a tourniquet on him. Officers Cosgrove, Hankinson, and Mattingly are on administrative reassignment pending the outcome of the investigation. No illegal drugs or related paraphernalia were found at the apartment. Neither Taylor nor her boyfriend have a criminal record. Brianna Taylor's mother is suing the three officers involved. I just demand justice for Brianna. Her lawsuit alleges the officers behaved recklessly and did not properly identify themselves before barging into her daughter's apartment. They entered into her home unannounced and they murdered her. Uh, it's unacceptable. The family would like for these officers to be held accountable. They would like for them to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Police disagree, claiming they acted properly. The police chief is asking federal officials to review the investigation. And Kentucky's governor is promising transparency. The facts are what the family deserves. You know, the, the absolute truth. The truth is always the very best answer, uh, whether it satisfies any, any um, uh, particular person. And I just want to make sure that we get that. Still waiting for those answers is the family of Brianna Taylor, a young woman whose life was cut short by a barrage of police bullets. Yeah, it's hard to get the truth when you're looking at a blank piece of paper, right? So there's a civil suit. Maybe the civil suit leads to something here. Let's bring in Julie Grant. Uh, Julie, uh, great to see you. Um, great to see you as well. Vinny. You know, there's an investing an investigation, but when you've got a civil suit, right, that's an opportunity to do your own sort of investigation because in a civil suit, you can depose people. You can make them answer questions, and you could take a blank sheet and fill it up with a transcript of answers to questions that you have. Oh, most definitely, Vinny. You know, you've practiced some civil law, and yes, there are three attorneys representing the family of Breonna Taylor. Uh, the devastation they're experiencing after this, and they want answers, understandably so. And uh, so, yes, throughout the process of the civil case, uh, hopefully they will get answers there, and hopefully they'll see more transparency from the Louisville Metro Police Department. And in all of this, all of the attention that is coming to this case uh, may bring about some 
some changes in the law. Uh, and this is really something, you know, the attorneys who are representing the family in the civil case have been calling for the release of body camera footage, saying that so many officers responded that night uh, to that apartment building where Breonna Taylor was shot to death. And that certainly there has to be some video showing something of this dreadful incident. Well, now, just last night, big news, Vinny, something called Brianna's Law, unanimously passed by city council in Louisville, Kentucky. And essentially, not only would it ban those no-knock search warrants that you and I have talked about, we've talked about it previously on this show, just how dangerous those are, but another thing it would do, would it, would, it would require all officers with that police department in the city to wear body cameras at all times. And when they go to execute a search warrant, like they did in this case, that camera would have to be on and running five minutes prior to entering the residence and then five minutes after the execution of the warrant is completed. And then they're asking that uh, those records be retained for at least five years. So that is something absolutely huge that the family is asking for in addition to filing that civil lawsuit against the officers involved, Benny. Yeah, and no-knock warrants, um, I don't like them. We're a country with a Second Amendment, people breaking down. I understand you're going after Osama bin Laden. Yeah, no-knock warrant. You know, knock down the door, go in there and, and get them. You're going after a drug kingpin, maybe, maybe. But you're going after two people with no criminal records, and by the way, you find nothing. To me, that's unbelievable. Let's take a listen, because we've got, we've got um, uh, some of what happened today with the passing of Brianna's Law. An ordinance banning no-knock search warrants, regulating the execution of search warrants and the use of body camera equipment during implementation of all search warrants to be known as Brianna's Law. Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll? Mr. President, you have 26 yes votes and zero no votes. Thank you. Congratulations. The ordinance passes. Big moment, big moment, 26 to nothing. I mean, it's a, 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 to me, a, a no-brainer, but, you know, uh, I'm sure there were arguments against it at some point. How about, um, I understand that Senator Rand Paul from Kentucky now is trying to get this in, into the uh, world of federal uh, law? You are correct, Vinny. That's right. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul introducing a very similar version. Uh, in Louisville, Kentucky, it's called Brianna's Law. The federal version of this law is titled Justice for Brianna Taylor Act. And essentially what this would do, this would ban all members of federal law enforcement from using no-knock search warrants. It would also block any state or local governments who receive federal funding, any departments that get money from the DOJ from executing no-knock warrants as well. So essentially, Senator Paul is saying that, and I'm quoting him, this bill will effectively end no-knock raids in the United States. So this is really, really big. And uh, right now, Vinny, no-knock warrants, they may be issued in every single state in our country except for Oregon and Florida. Uh, so this would be a really, really big deal. And in Louisville, we know that the mayor, Mayor Greg Fisher, has made it very clear that as soon as this ordinance hits his desk, he's going to sign it into law there in Louisville. And Breonna Taylor, uh, we know the woman who dedicated her life to helping saving others as an EMT. Now, hopefully this law in her name will help save more and more lives, Vinny. Absolutely. And, and, and the other part, you know, you, you talk about not filling out the report, it's blank. You get the truth. It's all about the truth. And, and, and that's what we need to find out here. Julie Grant, thank yes. you so much.